Welcome back to another rowing workout. Today we are going to focus in and work on our rowing technique. Our workout today is gonna to start off with five minutes of working our way through the pick drill to help sequence out our rowing stroke. And then we're gonna work into alternating minutes of continuous rowing at 20 strokes per minute at a nice moderate aerobic intensity, alternating that with 16 stroke per minute focused minutes on certain aspects of our rowing technique. So be ready to be listening for those cues to really hone in and focus in on. And as we work the 16 strokes per minute with that focus of the technique in mind, we're gonna try to make our, our split per 500 meters equal to, if not better, than what you row moderately at 20 strokes per minute. So the idea is to give a nice, hard, intense pressure at the 16 strokes per minute. That's gonna help us practice our ratio. It's gonna take a lot of focus and a lot of effort, but we're here to practice. We're here to just row. So let's strap on in and let's row this thing. Okay, we're gonna kick things off with the pick drill sitting at the finished position. Nice and tall, but leaning back, abs tight. Arms only with me, right here. Arms out, row it in. Arms out, row it in. This is the first component of the pick drill, and it gives us an opportunity here to practice feeling how our arms and our back muscles contribute to our rowing stroke. It definitely makes the stroke feel very short, but the arms, that arm draw, is an essential part of a strong and long rowing stroke. Even at arms only, we can practice ratio. Remember, with ratio, that's all about how fast you drive back and how slow you come back up, the speed of those two. So always think about driving back hard, whoop, coming out slow. Drive back hard, come out slow. That is how you create resistance on your rowing machine. You want more resistance? Pull harder, and it will resist you. We're gonna lengthen out though to arms and core on this one, arms, core, swing, pull. Arms, core, swing, pull. So now our body, our core, our hip flexors, our abs, they're getting engaged here along with the lower back as we work on our angles. Now when we talk about angles, we're talking about our body angle. And throughout the dynamic motion of the rowing stroke, our body moves, or should move, from about 11 o'clock to one o'clock, if you were looking at the face of a clock. So practice hinging at those hips, feeling those hamstrings stretch. Make sure those arms are nice and extended out as you swing through, feeling some counter pressure of the foot plates. As your body swings, feel your feet press into the foot plates. And make sure, of course, we're not leaning too far back and we're not seeing how far we can reach forward, just hinging from 11 to one. We're gonna move into half slide on this next stroke here. On this one, arms, core, bend the knees, handle to the feet, push, swing, pull. Arms, core, handle to feet, push, swing, pull. So now we're getting the legs involved a little bit. And we're stopping that handle as it approaches over our toes. It's called a half slide because your seat comes up about halfway up the slide as you do that. Now as we work with a little bit of legs here, the important thing is that we first establish the arms and the body into that lean forward position. Arms, core, lock it, and then bend the legs. Lock the forward angle, and then bend the legs. That takes a lot of practice if you're not used to it. But it's good to practice this now. That's why we're here. Okay, we're gonna lengthen into full strokes here on this next stroke. Arms, core, full strokes, full bend, push, swing, pull. Okay, so full bend means we are aiming here for knees over ankles, not past that position. Good body angle forward, legs compressed to knees over ankles, push, swing, pull. Nice long strokes, really putting together all of those parts of the sequence. In for one solid stroke. I'm gonna move us up to an 18 strokes per minute on this one, up to an 18. And let's get a good 
moderate press here with our legs. Good moderate press. Think of our ratio. Quick drive, controlled return. Quick drive, controlled return. Wonderful. Okay, we're gonna move things up to a 20 strokes per minute on this one, up to a 20. So a little more drive, a little bit more on the return to find a nice moderate intensity. So we say moderate, we're thinking about 70 to 75% of max effort. So you're not pushing as hard as you can, but you're also not taking it easy. The specifics don't necessarily matter. If you remember from the week one workout, what you were rowing at 20 strokes per minute, that's a good goal to base it off of. But for now, just find what feels good and moderate because we're gonna get ready to go into 16 strokes per minute. Look at your split time right now. You're gonna try to match it or go faster as we really work on hard strokes with a focus on our technique here. So with me, join in here, 16 strokes per minute on this one. Here we go. Drive hard, slow, slow, slow. Drive hard, come up controlled. Here we go, we're gonna focus on arms out first. Let's not forget, arms in, arms out. The arms are always the first thing to come out on the stroke, on the return. You're giving a good, hard drive. This is big ratio, big drive, big control. Big drive, big control. Your arms go in, they go out. Your arms go in, out. Get those arms extended. Push that handle away. Keep that split nice and low. This should feel very challenging, but very strong. We're gonna go to 20 strokes per minute on this one. 20 and moderate pressure. So now that we're adding strokes per minute, your split shouldn't change that much. You keep it relatively the same. Keeping the same split at 20 is a lot easier to do than keeping it at 16. So now it's much more aerobic. We're feeling the flow of that arms out technique focus. The arms in, arms out. Push, swing, pull. Okay, take note here of your split per 500 meter, your pace, your watts, your intensity, whatever you're looking at. Make sure you've got that number in mind because we're gonna try to match it or go faster at 16, which means big hard strokes. And we're gonna focus on the leg push, really initiating with the legs. Let's go to 16 on this one right here. 16, slow, nice, hard push. Big push. Focus on the legs. Legs drive swing. We always initiate by pushing our feet into the foot plates. Don't lean back early. Push, then lean. We want to push, then lean. Push, then lean. Nice, check your split. How's it looking here? How are you feeling right now? These strokes should feel heavy and tough and intense with a huge emphasis on those legs. Legs first. Nice, up to a 20 on this one. Okay, back to a 20 now with less pressure, less ratio as we work into moderate paced strokes. And see if you can keep those same ideas so far. That idea of legs first, that idea of arms in, arms out. And trying to keep long here the best you can. Okay, hopefully these 16s are starting to feel a little bit more in control. 
That ratio is very, very tough to practice. So if it doesn't feel perfect yet, it's okay. Next up, we're really gonna focus in on the body lean and swing. Focusing on leaning forward at the front, swinging back. Let's go to 16 on this next stroke right here. 16, slow, slow and heavy. All right. Let's make sure we are leaned forward at the front. Push, swing with me. Push, swing. Don't lean back early. Legs, then lean. We go legs, then lean. Heavy, hard. Push the legs, swing back. Accelerate through. Push, accelerate. Push, accelerate. Yes. Keep it up. Look at your split. How's that number doing? Are you feeling in control? I hope so. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take it back to a 20. On this one, back to a 20. So less ratio here as you back off on pressure. Still tie together all of these components. Stay leaning, stay swinging, stay legs first. I know, I know, it's a lot to think about. Practice will make you better, let's keep practicing. After this minute, we're gonna take our next 16 strokes per minute, minute, to focus on feeding that handle up and into the machine. We wanna make sure that no matter what rowing machine you're using, hydro, water rower, concept two, Nordic track, whatever it might be, that handle needs to be in line with whatever mechanism the handle goes into. So be sure you keep that in mind here as we move into this next minute. And let's work on that nice, hard intensity, that big ratio on this one. Slow return, hard drive. Slow return, hard drive. Feed the handle, that means a slow and steady lift of the arms. Go past your knees, lift, 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 lift. Don't make it drastic. It's not a drastic lift, look at my arms. Steady lift, 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 lift. So you go straight back. Don't just raise at the end. Slow and steady rise, like a triangle. Down, up, 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 up. Down, up, 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 up. Good, keep practicing. This is always my trickiest piece of form correction. Let's go back to a 20 here. Back to a 20. Back off on pressure a bit. Okay. Feeling nice and aerobic. Can you keep that handle feeding up here at the 20? You have to draw the triangle a little bit quicker since the ratio is a little faster. Stuff. We only have one more focus interval, then one more interval at 20, then we're done. We're wrapping up today's session. So let's stay focused in. Let's not take it easy here. You shouldn't be taking it easy. It should be nice, moderate strokes. Our last minute at 16 is going to focus us on holding our legs down, just like it was in week one. We're going to the same order of form corrections. That means hold your legs down until the handle goes back over them on the way back out. 16 on this one. Here we go. Hard drive. Slow, slow, slow. Good. Make sure that as you push those legs, you're flexing them. Engage them. Hold the engagement. Engage, hold it, hold it, then bend it. Engage, hold it, hold it, then bend it. Handle over your knees, then bend not a second earlier. If you do, you're not gonna get the most out of each stroke. Push the legs, hold them, hold them, hold them, hold them, hold them, bend. Push them, hold them, hold them, hold them, bend. Oh, 
That's probably really hard to do if you're not used to it. Just keep practicing, keep confident. We're almost done. Brain's on fire. Sweat is flowing, we're working. You're doing fantastic. Back to a 20 on this one. Okay. We're at a 20 here, this is our last minute before we take it easy. So let's keep it nice and moderate here. Try to tie together all of those technique focuses, but especially that last one, holding the legs until the handle goes out and over. Holding the legs. A nice steady split. A nice steady breathing rhythm that works for you. Let the sweat flow. Let's saw some wood. Let's make champions out of ourselves by putting in the miles. Nice job. Let's take it easy, team. Let's take it easy. Nice and light. There we go. Oh, how's your brain doing? These focus rows are mentally tough and physically tough together. Please remember that if it doesn't feel good right now, if it feels all weird, it's not quite clicking. I got good news for you. Good thing you got your whole life. Good thing you've got decades and decades and decades and decades and decades to figure it all out. Rowing's a lifelong sport. But the only way we get better at anything is with continual practice. So good news for you. We're here to practice with our next focus row next week. So keep giving your best. Try to reflect on today if you can thinking about how those minutes at 16 were for you. What was your split during those 16 stroke per minute minutes? Which aspect of the form was the most challenging for you? These are all important questions to ask. And the more you reflect, the more you'll gain from the experience as we move forward. So keep that in mind. Thanks for showing up today. Thanks for bringing your best. And I'll see you for the next workout.